Dear students, uh, before we start exercise 11b, it's very important that you must uh, learn these uh, properties of quadrilaterals. So these properties are given on page 270 uh, on your textbooks uh, D1 and uh, you must uh, go through with all these properties before you attempt exercise 11b. So once you have done with that, then you can attempt this exercise 11b now uh, let's discuss a couple of questions from 11b uh, you can see uh, here in question number one of this 11b this is part a let's discuss that uh, you can see a rectangle is given here and its vertices are a b c and d you can also see the diagonal of this rectangle and uh, you can also see that these angles are labeled as a and this part of the angle is 54 and this angle is given as B which we have to calculate now if we apply the angle properties of rectangle and for this I earlier told you that you have to go to page 270 of the book to learn these properties now as we know that all the four angles in a rectangle are 90 degrees so this means this is 90 degree this whole angle is 90 degree this is also 90 degree and this must also be 90 degree so if you look at this angle this is 54 in order to calculate angle a what we will do we will subtract this 54 degree from 90 degree and this is how we will get this angle a so if you look at here I have solved this here angle a is equal to 90 minus 54 as I have applied uh, the property angle property uh, in the rectangle so if we subtract 54 from 90 uh, we will get three uh, we will get th uh, 36 degrees so we have calculated this angle a now if we look at the diagram once again here you can consider this diagonal as a transversal because uh, this is a pair of parallel line and this line or this diagonal is intersecting uh, this pair of parallel lines so according to the concept we know that uh, the pair of alternate angles are equal so if you look at the diagram this angle a which is on one side of the transversal and this is angle b which is on the other side of the transversal and as this transversal is intersecting this pair of parallel lines so these angles uh, must be same because this is a pair of alternate angles so as angle a is 36 degrees so angle b must also be 36 degrees so i have written here b is equal to 36 degrees and I also have given here uh, the logical reason for that and that is because of alternate angles now if we uh, discuss this uh, B part here once again we got a rectangle here a B C and D and in this case we have been given with few angles and few angles we have to calculate like we have to calculate this at uh, the size of this angle D and this angle C now if we first of all uh, consider uh, this part of the diagram as it is the rectangle and this uh, size of this angle is 39 degree so in order to calculate this part uh, or this size of the angle we know that as the whole is going to be 90 degree so in order to get this I will subtract 39 degree from 90 degree and I will get this as 51 degree here now as you see that this c d e forms a triangle so this is a triangle here and we know that according to the angle property of a triangle sum of interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree so i'm going to construct an equation here so i will write here a plus 78 plus 51 equal to 180 degree and the reason as i stated sum of interior angles of triangle is equal to 180 degree so you can solve this equation and you know it very well you will add these two numbers these two angles and you will shift it on the other side of the equation this is how you will get your angle a uh, now we have to calculate uh, angle C and now look at this triangle B C E once again here we know that as it is a rectangle so this angle is 90 degree and uh, this angle is 39 degree this we have to find out once again I have uh, formed an equation here uh, according to which uh, according to the rule that sum of interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees so I have constructed this equation C plus 39 plus 90 is equal to 180 degree so once again uh, I'm going to solve this equation I will add these two angles and then I will shift 
uh, the sum of these two angles on the right hand side with a negative sign so I will subtract the sum of these two angles from 180 degree this is how I will get angle C so this way we can uh, calculate angle C and D by applying angle properties on rectangle.